Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general read to see what messages we can get for you at the time you view this video. Thank you guys for your continued support for this channel as well. I really appreciate it. And you're taking the time to choose to view this. I, I really appreciate it. So you are please connect with the Pisces viewers and subscribers. Oops, hold on one second guys. Let's see what's popping out over here. Okay. So the cards that flew out, and I'll, I'll read them because I feel like I need to, um, are, are the Five of Pentacles came out, which was the one that was way over there on the floor. Um, so for those of you who have been in a period of struggle that seems to have been going on for quite a while, um, and you've been really waiting to come out and have this recovery and see something positive get into your life, it seems as though you're definitely going to have victory pretty soon. You're going to have recognition for the difficulties you have endured and you'll rise above that soon. So take that as it resonates. That was a message for some. All right, Spirit, please show Pisces the messages you have at the time they view this video. What messages do you have for Pisces for their soul's journey, please? Let me cut this, get the energy flowing a little bit in these. All right, here we go, Pisces. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? at the time they view this video and we have the ten of swords so just as we were saying pisces the difficulty is coming to the end the horses behind you you know being able to let go of that trauma to start a new cycle start a new cycle you know new beginning here pisces what other messages you know having the strength and the courage even having forgiveness of yourself but also having patience and kindness towards yourself as you begin this new beginning what other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages do you have for Pisces when they view this video, please? Any other messages? Oh, hold on. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have Divine Blessings, the Lover's Card, also a card of Gemini. So the um, we have Air Energy, Fire Energy, Leo, and this is Gemini Energy. But I always, I feel always, typically, this is more of a you know, divine blessings with the archangel, you know, looking over and shielding, protecting and guiding. Also a balancing between the divine masculine and the feminine. Of course, also this is speaking to love unions. What other messages do you have for Pisces? Thank you. And we have the nine of wands. So we see, you know, continuously through all these cards that you have been going through some difficulty. Any other messages for Pisces, please, spirit? But you're hanging in there, you know. Any other messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? Any other messages for Pisces for this reading? Okay, oops. And we have another Ace, Ace of Cups. So as I was saying with this Lover's card, I, I was feeling more that this is, in fact, your divine blessings. And here with the Ace of Cups, this is definitely, you know, divine blessings, divine emotional new beginnings here. So Spirit, let us clarify this message for Pisces. You know, what do we need to know about, you know, the things that are ending and the things that are coming and going to be, you know, what the Pisces is going to be blessed with. What is this Ten of Swords, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this Ten of Swords, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this Ten of Swords? Okay, so they say this. So understand, <clears throat> pardon me, please. So understand, Pisces, that the difficulty you have gone through has not gone unnoticed. There is going to be an equalization, a balancing there is going to be divine justice handed out for the difficulty you have endured. You know, people don't just get to go through life um, putting swords in other people's backs and not have um, repercussions from that. So all these swords here that we see in this person's back in this Ten of Swords, you know, divine is definitely going to have justice dealt. Whether you know that this justice is being dealt or not is an entirely different thing. But rest assured that, you know, there is going to be um, retribution is what I'm hearing. There's going to definitely be retribution for the difficulty that people caused you and the trauma that people put in your life. They don't, they don't just get to go around hurting Pisces and not pay for it. All right, what is this Ace of Wands, please? Because you're getting new beginnings here. You're getting new beginnings. You're getting, you know, divine blessings. And we see this nine of wands here um and his eyes are actually looking up at this ten of wands so if we see the placement here on how the cards came out his eyes are actually or ten of swords i, I stand corrected but the nine of wands is definitely looking up at this ten of swords and you know divine is here with their own sword 
saying it's over Pisces. We're ending this cycle for you because we have the 10, which is a one. And in the justice card, we have a one um, sword as well. So, you know, divine is coming to intervene. I, I heard strongly. What is this ace of wands for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this ace of wands, please, spirit? What is this ace of wands? What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this Ace of Wands, please? Hold on, guys. All right, what is this Ace of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want them to know about this Ace of Wands? Please show them. Thank you. Yeah, so you're going to move away from battles. We've get, been getting the Five of Swords in your readings fairly often, Pisces. So it seems, you know, there's definitely been some type of you know, somebody may have been very well coming at you with ego and pride and trying to win at all costs. And, you know, this has definitely made, left a mark on you. You know, we see this Ten of Swords and clearly when somebody puts Ten Swords in your back, it's going to leave a mark. And we see the figure here in the Five of Swords looking back at this Ten of Swords. So we're seeing, you know, they're trying, they're looking, they're the one hanging on to all these swords that they put in your back here. And they're, they're standing there on the battlefield thinking, oh, look what I just did to Pisces. But little do they know that you're going to get a new beginning, Pisces. You're going to come hit them with this big club. <laughs> That's so funny. Sorry. Anyway, was, the image I got from Spirit was kind of funny. Anyway, Spirit, what is this strength card for Pisces? What do you want? And we have the Nine of Swords. So hang in there, Pisces. You know, this situation may have caused you a lot of anxiety and stress and worry. Um, it could definitely have been taking living in your head rent free um but here we're seeing you know, have kindness and compassion to yourself let's get one more card for the strength card here one more card to clarify the strength card one more card to clarify the strength card okay yeah so what we're seeing here pisces is you know whatever the situation and is in you know some of you could have been dealing with somebody who is extremely toxic even narcissistic somebody with addictions very negative behaviors and you know because of this devil energy pardon me that they allowed in their life they came at you with their swords drawn <clears throat> pardon me and you know caused you all this trauma and difficulty and divine sees and that's why divine justice is coming in because they understand that this was not necessarily of any any fault of your own even though the impacts of their devil behavior or devil energy is in fact having um stressing you out causing you stress anxiety sleepless nights right and, you know and some of you may have been able to you know use your strength and courage to overcome this already but for those of you who are still in the thick of it and still struggling with this you know hang in there you know be kind to yourself understand um basically that these the stress and anxiety sleepless nights and um really anxiety is in fact this lion um and you you have the capability and the capacity to tame this lion and choose to tame the beast of your anxiety what is this lover's card for pisces what do you want pisces to know about this lover's card in this reading please what is this lover's card for Pisces in this reading, please, Spirit? And we have the Emperor. So this is definitely taking control over a situation. Some of you could have been dealing with somebody who has Aries in their chart. Um, some of you, this could definitely represent an organizational situation where things have been unbalanced, unfair. For the, some of you with this Five of Swords, some of you could have been in a situation where you have been being bullied and harassed as well in the workplace. Um, again, take it as it resonates. But here we're definitely seeing a balancing and having some type of authority step in, whether that authority is divine authority, your own authority, or some something powerful is going to step in. And we see here the balancing right underneath the judgment or justice card here. Um, so it seems as though there's definitely going to be some intervention here. What is this nine of wands? What is this nine of wands for Pisces in this reading, please? What do they need to know about this nine of wands? I, I'm get, what I'm getting right now is Pisces, people are seeing the hurt that's been caused to you, whether this is within an organizational structure and they, they see that you endured bullying and harassment or would take, again, take it as it resonates, but it, it's being seen. 
What does Pisces need to know about this Nine of Wands, please? Wow. And we have, look at this. We have the Nine, the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, which the Knight of Pentacles often represents career. So you may have very well been dealing with a significant pain, loss, heartache, you know, significant difficulty around um, career and finances as a result of this situation. For some of you, if this was a relationship, it could have definitely, you know, the change that took place could have, you know, caused you a lot of suffering and pain and hardship as well. Maybe even had the financial implications there. But yeah, so we're, we're definitely seeing the, the pain of the situation because of another person or another party or a situation around you that has significantly negatively impacted you. And what is this Ace of Cups, please? What is this Ace of Cups, please, Spirit? Because I'm, I'm, I'm just to be clear here, I'm so I'm, I'm definitely in this reading, reading these main cards as you, as your energy and the, the supporting or clarification cards as the energy that's coming in around you. For example, divine stepping in to address this, you know, Ten of Swords, the jealousy, betrayal, harassment, you know, arguments here, the toxic behavior that, you know, came, toxic energies, whatever that came into your life to cause you this anxiety that you've had to really be strong up against. You get the idea. What is this Ace of Cups, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about this Ace of Cups? Yeah, definitely there's going to be a huge transformation for your Pisces. What is this Ace of Cups? What does Pisces need to know about this Ace of Cups, please? What is this? Thank you. So we have the Page of Cups. So here, Pisces, we have the Ace of Cups, which in the beginning we were saying this is divine blessings. This is um, a new emotional opportunity. You know, we, we were saying that, you know, this is, this is definitely something that's going to come into your life and it's going to have a huge transformation. You know, we start off the reading with the Ten of Swords, which is, you know, you, you can't be any more dead when, than when you have Ten Swords in your back. Like, you, you can't die anymore. And I just saw 12-12 on the clock, so take that as it resonates. It might for some. But here, you know, we, we, we can't, you can't come back from death. So here we have at the beginning of the, re the reading, the Ten of Swords, which is also one. Here at the end of the reading, we have the Ace of Cups, which this is like a rebirth. And then we have... The death card. So we start off with the Ten of Swords and we end with the death card because this situation is dying. There's elements stepping in, whether that's people in authority, people, um, divine authority, etc. Stepping in or, or your own um, decision to take authority to change a situation. And we're seeing... A, a divine transformation here, Pisces, where you're going to be able to, you know, some of you might get messages. The Page of Cups is a message. Some of you, you know, can have new offers coming towards you. Again, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. Um, but here, we're definitely seeing that this transformation is going to bring something new to you, and it's going to be just for you, um, because divine is bringing these gifts. Here, we have the Ace of Wands. You know, again, we're seeing... The Ace of Wands, and I'm feeling that it's particularly important here to draw the parity between the Five of Swords and the Ace of Wands because in the Five of Swords, you're fighting, you're arguing, it's bullying, it's harassment, but your divine effectively is coming in with this big billy club and knocking the crap out of these people that, you know, have, or situations that have been causing you this Five of Swords energy. And as a result, we see here the process of dealing with the pain, the suffering, the the mental anxiety and anguish, you know, and you conquering that and overcoming that and having the courage to tame that beast in the, your mental space and come and have that divine balancing, that divine protection um, and understanding, you know, being truthful about the situation that, you know, you did, you not only did you suffer through it, Pisces, but you, you kept standing. Like, please take note of the courage and, and, and the strength it takes to continue standing when all the odds are against you. You know, you, not only do you have the Ten of Swords here, all these swords in your back, you have the Nine of Swords in your brain, effectively, like in your mind space, right? Meanwhile, you have people coming at you trying to put more swords in you, but then, you know, finally you get the billy club out and say, no, thank you. And then here we have the three of swords in your heart. So you have ten, of, 10 swords in your back, nine swords in your mind, and three swords in your heart. So you're definitely, you know, 
feeling this nine of wands energy. Um, but spirit, you know, is definitely coming in and I, I'm getting a sense of, of cleansing out and, and removing like the water, water purifies what I, I'm seeing a picture of standing in the shower and allowing the release of this difficulty and the release of the burden, like letting the water run over your head and just to cleanse you out and to purify you. And, and like you say, and I, I release it. I allow it to be released from me so the new can come in. So this Ace of Cups can come in so you can have this transformation and rebirth and, you know, start all over fresh. Let's go on. Spirit, one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. You know, the darkness does not last forever, Pisces. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. One card. Okay, we have a few. Hold on. And and I, I saw suffering in silence right there as well. So that could very well describe how you've been feeling. Like you, you've really been enduring this burden. But you, you who are you going to tell? Like you, some of you, and, and this might sound mean, but some of you might really feel like nobody gives a crap, right? Like... Who are you going to tell? Nobody cares, right? But divine cares. Divine definitely cares. So what we're seeing here is light. So this is definitely, you know, that light coming in, clear, cleansing out your situation. Just as we were saying, you know, we're, you're going to see a transformation in this situation. However, this resonates for you where there's going to be a cleansing and a, and a renewal, and also financial and material changes. So however the situation may have impacted um, your finances, Spirit is also going to bolster those, um, your finances to help get you through. I'm not, I'm not trying to in any way claim or make a statement that, oh, you're going to come into sudden wealth because that's not what we're seeing here. But what I'm saying, Pisces, is you're going to be okay. You're going to make it through. Spirit, any Rebel Deck cards for Pisces in this reading? Any rebel deck cards for Pisces in this reading, please, Spirit? Any rebel deck cards for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit? Thank you. Take a fucking trip. Go see some shit. Do some new things. Talk to people cooler than you. So, you know, this is just saying, you know, get out. Change your energy. You know, if you've been cooped up in the house, you know, go take a walk. Do something. I know travel isn't exactly um as accessible these days as normal but you know do what you can any other rebel deck cards for pisces for this reading please spirit any rebel deck cards for pisces for this reading and then i'll pull a lucky card and an angel card hold on any other okay we're, we're about to hang this up with these rebel deck cards okay we'll stop we're not going to force the cards if the cards aren't coming and any angel answer cards for pisces for this reading please spirit any any angel answer cards for Pisces for this reading? Thank you. See, when the cards want to come, they want to come. So perfect timing. So understand that things are going to happen as, you know, the timing is right for them to happen. Um, and let's just pull one lucky. Ooh, these are very small and very stiff. So one, one lucky card for you guys. One fortune cookie card for you guys. Spirit, one fortune cookie card for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit. Okay, I'm going to pull another one. Any other cards for Pisces for this reading? Hold on, guys. They're we, so bear with me. <laughs> Any other? Spirit, please come near. One more card, thank you. Okay, and we have a few come out, so we'll just read them because they're funny. So the first card we get is Declutter, and it says, Declutter your life, let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. And Pisces, this is very, you know, dead on to what we're seeing in this situation. You know, with the Ten of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Three of Swords, you know, something might, in fact, you know, the transformation that might need to occur, occur is, in fact, cutting somebody out. Care required. Guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. So, you know, please do, you know, keep your wits about you um, because it seems as though you, for those of you who this situation resonates with, you know, 
you want to be wise about the choices you're making if you're in this type of dynamic. Assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for soulmate connections, birth of a child also likely. So again, take this as it resonates. We do have the Ace of Cups here, so this could very well, you know, even if it's not a soulmate or a child, it could very well speak to divine blessings here. And we have one more, commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. So, you know, Pisces, with the Ace of Cups we have here, this could very well, I mean, for some of you, it could, in fact, you know, be a new commitment that's coming. But here we could also see, especially with the Page of Cups, you know, a new job offer or something new coming into your life. So we, we do see first to declutter, then assert yourself, have care about what you're doing, and, you know, commit to what you really want. So this is the message I have for you, Pisces. I hope it helps. Wish you the best. God bless.